and then like to ask uh, Sarah Bridgewell, who is our board member portfolio women's rugby on the coast, to step up and say a few words about the forthcoming season for women's rugby on the coast. As we reflect on 2020, we are incredibly grateful to Queensland Rugby Union and the State Government for providing a framework to operate within to ensure rugby was able to be played in the new COVID landscape. As many other sports did not go ahead last year, our women's competition did and we welcomed many players from other codes who were willing to give rugby a go. Also joining our competition last season were players who returned to the Sunshine Coast to ride out the pandemic, such as Sally Cahoe, Olympic rower, and Super W, Melbourne Rebels player, who joined Calandra for the 2020 season. So 2021, we have six teams competing in our 12-a-side competition. From the north, we have Noosa, Nambour, University, and Maroochydore, with Calandra and Caboolture from the south. We welcome Nambour to the competition this year. Nambour is an area of growth, and an excellent example of the progression of junior girls rugby into senior rugby. Our 2021 women's season will again mirror the A grade competition, rounds and final structures, with a kickoff time of 12.30 p.m. before reserve grade. As we know, female participation continues to grow each year globally and locally. As our participant and player base increases and evolves, so does our game of rugby. And 2021 will see the reintroduction of the Queensland Country Pathway for our female players as our Stingrays team, 15 aside, will be battling out with the Gold Coast and Darling Downs on Sunday the 18th of April. Successful players will be selected in the South Queensland team and then on to Queensland Country Dealers team. Last season, our Stingrays team played Queensland Suburban at Ballymore. This was a rewarding experience for players and the coaching staff coming away with a win. We will continue to offer representative pathways for our 12 side, 15 side, and sevens playing formats. I wish Noosa, Nambour, Marichidor, University, Calandra, and Caboolture all the best of luck in their final preparations as we are only days away from the start of the 2021 season. Thank you. Thank you, Sarah. Um, many of you in this room will be very familiar with the Matai Sporting Range. They supply many of our clubs and they do supply our stingrays and sponsor our stingrays. Matai have um, agreed to sponsor the, the Women's Shield um, for the Senior Women's Comp this year, the, the Challenge Shield. And I'm going to ask Sylvia George to come up and present the Matai Shield to a representative from Caboolture who won the grand final last year. Um, Mara Sports would like to encourage sport um, interest within the women's club this year and we hope, we wish everybody the best for 2020. Thank you. And we present this uh, to Caboolture Rugby Club. So thank you. Uh, the format of this, this trophy being that um, the opposition has to beat the home team, which is Caboolture. It might, it might stay at Caboolture for, for quite a while because they're, they're pretty hard to beat at home. So I'll pass over to Jason. You got a few thank you very much. And um, I'm just glad this season is actually going to start now. You know, <laughs> All this preparation and all this rain is really getting me excited. And, uh, and good luck for all the girls, and, and this will be a success. And thanks for all the, all the sponsorships, and thanks for Matai for making this possible. Thank you very much.